you really see a wide variety of clothing choices in nogi jiu-jitsu. Before I got started in nogi jiu-jitsu, I asked around to try and figure out what I'm supposed to wear. I asked 10 people and got 10 different answers. So like with most things, I went and I tried to break it down into principles in order to figure out the right answer for myself. So we will start by discussing what people typically wear to a nogi jiu-jitsu class. Then we will dive into the principles of what we are ideally looking for when we're choosing nogi jiu-jitsu gear. At the end, we will also talk about some caveats that apply to more traditional jiu-jitsu schools. That might change what you actually need to purchase and what you're allowed to wear on the mats. So let's start with observations about what people usually wear. At most schools, you're going to most commonly see a shirt with athletic shorts, a shirt with sweatpants, a shirt with gi pants, a rash guard with fight shorts or board shorts, or a rash guard with spats or leggings. With so many possible options that you see every day on the mats, it gets pretty overwhelming to decide what to choose for yourself, especially when you're walking onto the mats for a nogi jiu-jitsu class for the first time. So let's go over some principles and characteristics of good nogi jiu-jitsu clothing. The first principle is that more coverage is usually a good thing. This is because it stops cuts and because covering more of your skin reduces your skin infection risk. The other thing we're looking for is clothing with a relatively tight fit. Clothing with a tight fit prevents unneeded accidental injuries. That can happen from seeing fingers, hands, feet, and toes getting caught in the fabric if it's too baggy. For a similar reason, we want to avoid pockets and any clothing that has holes in them. Another thing that you should be avoiding are metal and plastic components. Aside from causing scratches to yourself and your training partners, they can also damage the mats. And that's not going to make you very popular with your school owner. Now that's a lot of choices and a lot of principles. So if you just want something actionable, I think you really can't go wrong with picking up a cheap long sleeve rash guard and pairing it with some cheap sweatpants or a cheap pair of spats. This is relatively affordable and gives you good coverage and increases safety on the mats. For your convenience, I popped a couple of links in the description for what I would personally recommend. Now, let's get into what you might run into at a more traditional jiu-jitsu school. Traditional jiu-jitsu schools often have different uniform requirements. They might require you to wear a ranked rash guard, they might require you to wear their branded gear, or they might require both of those things. If you see a lot of people wearing the same rash guard on the mats, then it might be worth talking to your instructor to determine what kind of norms there are in regards to what you should be wearing for nogi jujitsu at that school. I hope this video gave you some clarity on what you should choose to wear to nogi jujitsu. If you found it helpful, please consider smashing that like button and checking out this video over here where we discuss what you should be wearing underneath your jujitsu gi. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.